from Betty. So it's the end of September and the end of another month yet again. So that means that it's time for a wrap up video and our to be read list for October. I ended up reading 12 books in the month of September. Uh, a couple of them weren't YA. They were working towards other goals or a set. Um, and three of them were books that I read on my Kobo. So those three were Breaking Back and that was the biography of James Blake, who was a tennis player, and it got three stars out of five. Um, it was all right. A lot of the stuff I found that I already knew just from watching tennis. I read Ink World by Cornelia Funk, and that was two stars out of five. I just really found myself not being able to get into that one. Um, and then I also read Bridget Jones's Diary by, I believe it's Helen Fielding, and that was two and a half stars. And I just found myself being very disappointed in that one because I love the movie so much and the book just didn't, the humor in the book didn't come across as being as funny as the movies. I have also read this month Anti-Goddess by Kendar Blake and I gave this one three and a half stars. I really enjoyed the overall plot and a lot of the characters. I just found that it was kind of slow at first and there were times whenever it was pretty predictable. I like the back and forth points of view between Athena and Cassandra and a couple little twists and turns in there that I really liked as well. Near and Far by Nicole Williams and I gave this one four stars. I absolutely loved the first book, Lost and Found. It was one of my favorite reads so far this year and I didn't like this one as much but I still really enjoyed it. I love these characters so much especially Jesse, just, I love Jesse, that's, <laughs> um, so this one, it was a little bit slower at times, and, but overall, I definitely really enjoyed it. Perfect Ruin by Lauren DeStefano, and this one comes out tomorrow, October 1st, and this one I gave three stars out of five, and it was a pretty good book, especially for a first in the series. Um, it was kind of slow at the beginning and again it was a little bit predictable. Um, the action really picked up about three quarters of the way through. Um, the characters for the most part were really good. The main girl annoyed me a couple of times um, and I found that it was a little bit hard to get into the world building. Um, they live in this island that's in the sky and just the description of the world building just seemed a little bit lacking and it was hard to actually picture this place. But the overall concept is one that I really, really am intrigued with. Um, it kind of reminded me of a cross between City of Embers and the Match trilogy. So I will be definitely on the lookout for the next book in this series. Perfect Chemistry by Simone Elkeles? <laughs> Is that how you pronounce her name? Um, this one was also three stars. Um, this one, I enjoyed the chemistry between the main characters, but I found a lot of it was just so predictable. Um, not really, a, I don't think really anything surprised me in this book. Um, but it was pretty enjoyable, it was a quick read. The predictability kind of took me out of it at a lot of the times. Battle of the Labyrinth by Rick Riordan, and this one was four stars, and this one is probably my favorite of the series so far. It was just so much more than I was expecting. There was, there was so much action in this book, it just felt like it never stopped, and there was a lot of different myths that were kind of name-checked throughout the book as well, and it was just a lot of fun to read, and it's almost done. <laughs> Blood Promise by Rochelle Mead, and this is the fourth in the Vampire Academy series, and I gave this one two and a half stars. I was just extremely disappointed by this book. The first three I really liked, and you know, I've gotten to really enjoy the characters and the chemistry between the characters, and this one it just kind of felt like those characters were torn apart, and everything that I loved about the first three books was not present in this book. There were times whenever I was tempted to just skip ahead. I didn't, I read everything, but just the fact that the temptation to skip ahead was there kind of 
clued me in that I really wasn't enjoying the book as much as I'd hoped. Fault in Our Stars by John Green. This is actually a reread and it's still five stars. That's pretty much all I have to say. Uh, Hundred by Cass Morgan and this one was two stars. This, one, this is another one I had really high expectations for and I found myself being disappointed with. The concept I really love. I'm still excited to see how they turn it into a television show. Except I thought the television show was coming out in a few weeks and apparently there's no release date. It's a mid-season show so there's still months before it's probably going to come out. I found myself really liking one out of the four characters that we get the points of view in and then the other two um, the other two kind of grew on me but then there's one character Clark which I just didn't find myself liking at all and I don't know if it's because I didn't like her that the focus seemed so much more on her than the others and that kind of took away a lot of the enjoyment and then as well as one character Glass her story just seemed a complete disconnect from the others, so every time it was her point of view, it kind of took me out of the story. The book that I read was Hollowed by Cynthia Hand, and this one I gave three stars. I loved Unearthly so much, so it was a little bit of a disappointment, but I still enjoyed the book. Um, it just kind of felt like a typical middle book. You know, it moved the plot along a little tiny bit, and not a lot happened but it was still pretty enjoyable. Books that I plan on reading in October. The first one is going to be Spirit Bound by Rochelle Mead. So this will be the fifth book in the Vampire Academy series. And the Vampire Academy is on my list of series to finish by the end of the year. So after this one, I will only have one more. The Maze Runner by James Dashner, because this is on my list of series to start before the end of the year. Leap of Faith by Jamie Blair, and this one, really, I just wanted a pretty short, quick book to read, so this one is pretty short, and hopefully it's going to be good. And Anna Dressed in Blood by Kendar Blake, because it's October, which means Halloween, so I wanted something kind of ghostly and Halloween-y. And then, that's only four. The fifth book that I am definitely going to be reading in the month of October will, of course, be Allegiant by Veronica Roth. Which, all right, so that's all for now, and I will see everybody next time.